Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this Friday night stream. Tonight, I'm going to be joined by some guests who I will be figuring out how to invite into a game momentarily. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to introduce today's game. Today's game is Blood Rage Digital Edition. This is a port of a board game. Um, I've actually not played the board game before, but I played other ports of board games and we'll see how this one goes. It's always been a little bit of a mixed bag. As per usual, I am playing to raise money for my local children's hospital. I have put the donation link in the comments if you are interested. I am also, they have an additional fundraiser going where there's a shortage of teddy bears and art supplies for the kids who are patients at the hospital. So they're accepting donations of those as well. I've put that Amazon wish list in the comments as well. If you don't want to donate through Extra Life, but do want to make a difference for kids in the Austin area, consider sending some art supplies or a teddy bear. And I'm sure it would be greatly appreciated. Um, so let me go ahead and bring in my friends that are going to be playing with me because they are fantastic at audio source. Okay. Can you go ahead and say something? Hello. He Nothing. Hello. Hopefully it's all hopefully it's all working. Hopefully you can hear them. I can hear them, and I think that's what really matters. You are saying fascinating things the entire time. Fascinating the entire time. I am saying myself. I think it's picking you up. Oh well, I'm sure one of the viewers will at some point say that this isn't working. Alright, let me get a game set up for us. Multiplayer, create game. I'm going to ask that invite friend. Yay, we're friends. You're all listed as offline. That's because you're listed as offline. Oh, th thank you so much. The common thread is you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, invite to lobby. Invite to lobby. And invite to lobby. Probably should have figured this out beforehand, but here we are. I'm just staying at the title space. Okay, hang on. There we go. Invite, invite. Zach, do you have the game open? Yes. Alright. I should have sent invites to all of you. Let me know if you don't have it. Join didn't work for me, I think. Same. The join via Steam or the join... Oh. Huh. I wasn't expecting this. Do you want someone else to try hosting? Uh... Yeah. Wait, wait, okay, I think I think I figured it out. Did you just get an invitation? Getting a menu. Yep. There we go. I accepted it in the game, but since I'm in the middle of creating a game, oh, there it is. Yay! And I see it worked for Zach. There we go! Okay! So, hopefully everybody at least... Hopefully everybody at least played the tutorial. If not... Okay. Then I will explain how it works as we go. So, first thing... Did you leave big timers for everything? Uh... No. Yes, okay, but it's a 20 second draft. So, on this first round, we are drafting cards that are going to make up our deck. You want to try and draft cards that point towards a particular strategy. Um, each of these cards does a particular thing. The green ones are quest cards, so that's a goal that you want to have. Uh, the black ones are ally cards, so they will do whatever it says on the card. Red ones are godly gifts um, that will give you whatever bonus it lists on the card. Um, and I think there's another color as well, but I don't remember what it is. 
But we draft these cards, we use them to make a deck, and then after we draft, we're going to take turns placing units on the board. The objective is to get the most power. Uh, sorry, I'm picking up my card. Uh, the objective is to get the most uh, power points. We do that by pillaging these various regions. Each of the regions has a particular symbol on it. So each of these some each of these regions has a particular symbol on it. So you can see that that is uh, red rage, blue axes, and gray helmets. The helmets control how many units we can have on the field at a time. The rage is essentially our action points. And the, uh, I'm not entirely clear on what the axes do. It says every time you win a battle, you get as many victory points as you have axes. So they are the meaning of each victory. Oh, perfect. So thank you. How meaningful each victory is. Thank you. I'm, I'm, thank you for explaining that. Yeah. So, as I said, the object is to take control of these provinces and use your control of the provinces to get the resource uh, within the province. Once you, have a cert once you have at least one unit in a province, you can decide to pillage that province. If you're uncontested in that province, then you automatically get the resources in it. But if somebody else is in the province as well, then you uh, get to fight them. If you win that battle, then you get, to, uh, you get the glory for killing your opponent, and you get the resource in the province. Now that said, it's not always a bad thing to lose a battle. Sometimes it's helpful to lose a battle, depending on the particular quests that you have or your particular goals. Um, so always keep that strategy in mind. When you actually go into a battle, that's when some of your bonus cards come into effect. Those would be the red ones that you drew, if you drew any red ones. Uh, that, that's when you can play those and do those sorts of trickery things and basically augment the battle. Each of these little circles is where you will place your warrior or your leader. You can place your ship in the water if you so choose, and it will add a bonus to each of the surrounding provinces uh, that are encompassed by that little half circle. Um, beyond that, I think that's it. The one other thing to call out is Ragnarok. Uh, Ragnarok will hit uh, some provinces. So I believe the next province that's going to be hit by Ragnarok is this one that has the lava on it. Um, that will destroy everything in that province and the province itself. Yep. Yes, it is. And another thing worth mentioning is that when you battle somebody, the winner keeps all their units but loses all the extra cards they use to gain that victory. The losers, all their units die, but they get to take the cards back. Correct. The center region is Yggdrasil. Uh, Yggdrasil, as you can see, gives powerful bonuses when you pillage it, but you can only pill you can only go in there with certain units. So currently, you notice there are no dots on there. Depending on what you have in your hand, you may be able to raid that, or you might not. Sort of depends, but it's a powerful place to be. There's also some units you can play that will automatically invade Yggdrasil. Not that I have that, but just saying, if I did. Does all that make sense, and are there any questions? Go ahead and talk about it. I think it's limited to one unit per either player or per neighboring region that can join the trade. The, sure exactly. the final thing I want to call out is that all cards except quests have, um, have a rage cost to them. And if you mouse over a card, you'll see that that rage cost pops up. So I'm mousing over one of my cards right now. People watching the stream can see it, but my friends can't see it. Um, and you can see the, the rage cost of this card right above the actual card itself. Also, if you mouse over your um, military units on the bottom row, they're, they're on the far left next to the yellow things, you can see the relative strengths of those. So for instance, right now my leader's strength is 3, 
And the warrior strength is one. The ship strength is two. And that's the gist of it. And we just keep pounding on each other until somebody gets all the points. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play this card here. I'm not clear why it says skip. So what is invading? Is that invading some message territory? It basically means getting things ready to the battle, and the pillaging is the battle. What did you do? I placed my leader on the on a uh, Mercurlor. So now you see I have one leader in there. You can actually zoom in if you want to. Uh, my leader is there with his little three power. You can also see that each of these territories has a limited number of spaces in it. So he's currently sitting there. He had there are two spaces remaining in that territory if anybody else wanted to place anything there. Oh, nice. That's how that works. Yeah. yeah. Yggdrasil does not have any spots, so you can have an unlimited number of units crowding it, but the rest of them have to go by the spots. How do you actually play farm? Uh, yep, so you click on a card and then click on the slot it goes into. They're color coded at the bottom. The tutorial mentioned that you click on the spot first and then click the card, so try that as well. <laughs> I just realized I do have your screen on the other screen, and if I were to look closer, I could see No! That's cheating! <laughs> That is cheating. Did either of you exhaust your rage or do we just do one action at a time until everyone exhausts their rage? We do one action at a time until everybody exhausts their rage. Can upgrade be applied to one of your units? Yes, but there are also. I had a card that would that was specific to my leader. So you want to smash? I want to have big battles. <laughs> <laughs> And then Zack is being sneaky over there, adding in random warriors wherever he feels like it. Ooh. Do 
people trigger pillaging at the end of all the rage stuff? No. You can do that at any point. You just click on the icon. Oh, the middle one, yeah, which is a bad one because I haven't put a unit down. Right. There are, yeah. I like its little, uh, its little character. Zack is pillaging, but there's nobody else in there, so all he gets is the thing that's in that area, which is one extra axe for Zack. No glory because there wasn't anyone to Right. But I bet he's feeling pretty pleased with himself. Yep, he didn't lose the battle. Speaking of losing a battle. Which one are you doing? Uh, I'm fighting you because you have a ship here. I know what I'm doing. I have Loki's blessing up, so when oh. I lose a battle, I get to place a warrior for free. Yeah, I wasn't sure be because it was before it said that you lost. And so now, because Joseph won that battle, he has five points. Did one of you say that each province can only be pillaged once per age? Correct. There's a couple of cards that give an exception to that. So you might have that. You might have a card that says you can pillage more than once, but I think there's only one of those. Yeah, so you can you can still pillage this province. Yeah, because when I hi hovered over Mirfulot, Mir it has the same thing as when I highlight any other center of the province. Right. 
Oh, but yeah, the one that's next in the village. Yeah, that one. Was But yes, both of the provinces that I'm in do have the icon to the village. So you are welcome to village then. Oh, I can move one figure in there. You know what? I will! Come here, you. Get in there. Warrior. Nobody wants you, Blue Province. Oh, you must play any yep. Yeah. It is not optional. West versus West. <laughs> what? How did my warrior die? How did that happen? Do we have to play them? Yes. Oh, so you can have multiple in that green pile? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Jeff, why are you doing this? I just want to be your friend in this province. Why are you doing this to me? It does look like only neighbors. Which is also part of the power of Yggdrasil, because that neighbors everything. Zach gave me a look. I think he's trying to figure out what I, what plan, if any, I have. <laughs> what if you have no more cards to play when you die? I'm not sure. I've not run into that. Or does the turn more earn zero in a round when that comes off the cards? Out of rage? Wait. It runs out when you run out of rage, so I don't have any more plays? What? That doesn't mean I paid attention to the tutorial. It's best to play through the tutorial and pay attention to the tutorial. Wait, so I can't play the free cards either? Oh yeah, that was one of the finer details. Okay, that is a detail I missed completely. Um, I do not, in fact, have a plan. 
Stupid rules. I am extremely salty right now. Okay, so I've muted myself in their conversation and hopefully they can't hear me. I am extremely salty that I drew these um, three quests in one free drop and now get nothing for any of them. Oh well, we'll see what happens. At the very least, I now get to watch everybody else have fun. Are you having fun, Ashery? No. I hope everybody learned a valuable lesson. It is a valuable lesson. That means the more battles you have, the more Valhalla will embrace you. <laughs> so we really are zombies. Okay. You go, sea monster! Well, I didn't mean to do that. Well, your 
you're battling it. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. What? Look, I lost the minute I forgot how to play this game. I accept that. Since we both lost the previous battle, both of us received our cards back. And look, I get to drop more warrior fodder. <laughs> Including Ashery getting his tears crushed back. Ah, it says loser parentheses, so last battle there were two victories. Like nuclear war. <laughs> oh, I'm glad Jeff is still continuing to have fun. I feel very dumb. No, I I had that same quest. What? I feel like we can be full of oops, it's fine. I'm glad. And so to my viewers, I hope it's very clear what I'm trying to do here.
Did you get to play an extra one for free? What's the upgrade? Uh, this is a monster that I have. My leader back. Do not have leader. I do, but he's in my hand. I would rather he was on the field. That blue one, correct? Jerk. You complete jerk! What did he do? He discarded my card! What was your card? Uh, my card was that I was going to make him destroy all but one thing in that battle. The one thing being the only thing you have there? We're three to three right now, right? What? What? Hmm. Suck it. Also, I like that we both got all those cards back. Did you get the discard of cards cards back? No. Okay. Uh, can you read, what's the text on the Odin Steam game? Is it destroys all of these, so the sea circle and the counter among those? So, the text on Odin's Tide is, Before comparing strength, each player chooses and destroys all but one of their figures in this battle. So you pick one to keep. That includes the leader and the sea serpent in my case. Correct. Yes. The serpent is in that province for... Yep. 
basically, I'm gonna be a brat. Put a boat down. Come on in. We got space for space for more. Oh, okay then. I can do that. Wow, there's three of us in this battle. I didn't realize that. Okay. Not allowed to play an additional card. They told me I don't have one. I like that the boat wins. That seems reasonable. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Only two glory for that? What? Because I poached some. And also, you didn't get the territories award of five glory. Nope. No, I don't think so. Ooh. What was that? A fire giant. It will destroy... It destroys all units in the province when it drops in. What? Sorry, having a think.
How is the plus six only giving her two? Ah, oh, I've never been out of here. It's all coming up, Yannicka! It's all coming up what? It's all coming up, Yannicka! What's that mean? It means that now there's nobody here. I can pillage things as much as I want. Did you figure out how to march? Yeah, you click on one of your units and I think if you click on the neighboring province it might take all of them from your province. Got it. Thank you. So you can march into there? Yes. Yeah, otherwise you can't get in there at all. Oi. Go away. So playing the upgrade cost me a lot of rage, which I didn't notice. Is that the case? And that's why it's free? Yes. Wow, I just wasted four rage. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's having fun at least. No, it's immediately not fun because I messed up. <laughs> Hey now, we want to talk about not fun because of messing up. We have uh, the player who accidentally skipped her own first turn over here. How'd you skip your own- oh, wait, why did you win? Uh, I, the first round I had four quests in my hand and then didn't play any of them because I forgot I wouldn't oh, be able yeah, to. That's right. Yep. So a ship upgrade, apparently it goes over the same place where my ship is. Yes. Does that also mean I get to deploy a ship? Mm -hmm. Well, my ship has been destroyed. Oh, you have those cards. Is everyone coming to Ginra? Coming to what? Smash those homes. I think you should just let me win. I never get to win.
card that I've shown multiple <laughs> times that I don't think I've ever won with it. Well, now you've won with it. Oh, I've drawn with it and taken it back every time. You. One warrior. Audience, how are you this evening? Numbers, I apologize. I'm having to use the uh, headphones that are held together with duct tape. Should just get new headphones. Oh, thank you. That's interesting that just the game sounds odd. Okay. All right, opponent. I'm finally gonna win one. I've decided. Destroy my entire army? Yeah, a special card that just wipes out your entire army. You are the worst. <sighs> okay, next one I'm gonna win. Do that I'm not allowed to trigger a pillage. Because I'm out of range. <laughs> I can just sit here and feed it and feed you points if you want. One. You got one glory for beating me up. You know what I have in Valhalla? I have leadership. <laughs> it's that's <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. Bianca's already lost her leader, you know. Yep. I let's just okay. If your question is, can Yannicka win a fight? I have not won a single f this in time. Well, piled up. <laughs> we join forces, their plan. I think we should. Bad, that's probably not. With the spirit of how Odin wants us to fight. I can move one figure in, so I can't move all these figures in. <laughs> ah, okay, got it. Is it when everyone else passes, you can no longer move any more of yours? That would make sense, but I don't think that's how it works. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Let let's team up here, Serpent Clan. I think we've got a good thing going. Yeah, I think Odin might not allow this. Or otherwise, I would love. <laughs> Sorry for being a little slow. No. I was gonna say I think it yeah, it, I know Jeff is. Yep, there he goes. Currently, Jeff has four, I have three, and you have two. by looking at whose timer is running. There's no point to this, but I get the card right back anyway. drop one in. Oh, That was my whole thing. Wait, what was your whole thing? I may invade this province. Oh, I still can. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's the result of Loki's... Is it treachery? Or? Yeah. Bless you. with four of your warriors and six strength. <laughs> oh, or not. Jeff is over there with 12 rage. You really just need a chill pill. Never! <laughs> I'm slightly more angry than the other two of you.
I want to get off Mr. Texton's wild ride. You still won't have a leadership in Valhalla. It's okay, your boat went with my warrior and they'll be friends forever now. Wow. Why didn't I get to place my warrior? Am I out of- I think I'm out of warriors. That's kind of tragic. Well, you do have six warriors in Valhalla. That may explain a lot. Did you start with just six? I started with eight, but I- I, um... Well, I have a- I have a plan. It's not a good plan. And I have some regrets about this plan. But my lack of plan where I ran out of steam <laughs> and ran out of things to put on the board and then missed an opportunity for a fire gun. It's okay. As long as we are having fun, that's what matters. I really thought that playing the monster into my like, board would be free, and then playing it from like, my board onto the general board would be what takes great. I would also like to point out that Jeff can field 10 warriors, and that's just obscene. One. Can you not what? No, what? What did you say again? I thought. I heard the Yeah, when I was highlighting stuff with trying to figure out how marching works, I thought my other unit also got highlighted, but I wasn't sure since I didn't actually go through with it. Fair boat. Fair boat with fair boat. Okay. <laughs> You have to select all your units to be able to move them. So you can select all of them. Bear boat, not bear boat space. What was that game two for what? For every unit you release, yep. Which means all the units that go to Valhalla during this age, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so That's a conger wall card if I've ever seen one. I didn't play that card. What is the current? Like and everyone except Asher is fine. Okay, I want to suggest that you let me win. 
I would like to win. I have yet to win. That is the that is the opposite of letting me win. You're working against the best interests of the bear boating with bear boat <laughs> How dare you! This is the exact opposite of letting me win, and I don't appreciate it. It's not only alternating, but people can just get, keep going until they fill up the whole province. Yep. Even Except if the, the center one. The center one keeps moving in or doesn't have anything to move in. Right, and the center one has unlimited space. So, like, literally the entire map, except ships, can get into a crystal if someone declares a battle for a crystal? Yes. Hello. Why do you still have 9 strength? Okay, so currently I have... It's 3 to 4. Okay. He is winning. So it should be 4 right now on the x side. Aww. Not Randall, who are you supporting? Not one. Not a single battle. That's like that dude who sells both X Wings and TIE Fighters. Goodbye, boat. I hardly knew you. Get to keep your cards though. I hate all of you. And I don't even get to place my warrior because I killed all my warriors. I don't care about your sadness. Yeah, uh, he now has almost as many things in Valhalla as you do. Yes, I am a hater of sadness. Excuse me, sir, why do you have 35 points? Yes. Boom! What kind of boom? Is it a boom chakalaka? <laughs> I think it's a boom chicka chicka. Hey, I have points this round! Look at that! Four players had four quests completed. Yay! And I believe this is the last age. I, I meant to change it, but I, I, I didn't get to change it before the game actually started. I didn't realize that inviting people would automatically start the game. Uh, 
on a Mantine quest. Well, two of the three <laughs> Mantine provinces are just gone. Definitely, if we play this again, I'll change that timer. Does marching into a province not count as invading a province? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's different. Like if a fire giant walks into a gristle. What a fire giant! What a fire giant walks into a bar. Got upgrade? Yeah. I mean, I think the first one was already an upgrade that just got put on top of the warrior. Would you have been allowed to play this upgrade if you hadn't played the previous one? Probably because it's just based on the age. I was wondering who grabbed the frost giant. A frost giant just surrounded by Ragnarok <laughs> provinces. Can you march across like long distances? I think it's one tile at a time. Who are you fighting, Ashery? I did not realize that's what was going on. Nobody. <laughs> Is that the same guy that blinded that cyclops? I think it must be, yes. Must be very formidable since our one of our biggest warriors with biggest stats decided to fight him. <laughs> I love Dark Elf.
Sorry, the regular plus zero. No! No! I disagree. What is a tree costing? Absolutely nothing. Wait, what? Profitability is actually a tree Oh. Uh, that's not the leader. been triggering pillages at all, I forget. Does triggering them take rage? No. Yeah, no thank you. No thanks. It says opponent is thinking about joining the fight, but I don't think that's true. Well, I mean, I thought about it a little <laughs> bit. <coughs> thank you. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, I was talking to Ashley.
forget how is it calculated how much glory the winner gets? The axes. You get the you get oh. the amount of glory that you have number of axes. Oh, I think that I explained when people were asking <laughs> about like what do axes mean. Yeah. So I guess I remembered it from one direction, but not from the other. <laughs> Those are large numbers. Time to really be looking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stack more, stack more. They're off between Heimdall and Heimdall. Heimdall wins! You know, if I was wise, I would have been paying attention to what cards were displayed. What a shocker. All of his three tracks. Um Okay, Cylon buddy, I think we can do this. If we work together, we we can get as many points as one of them. This was not the intention, Cylon buddy. I think I'm in a worse spot than you. Maybe I did. I did mess up my first round. No, that's okay. Well, second. second. Oh, if I had remembered that I must play a card. I'd <laughs> ha! Suck it! I'm, 
I'm gonna steal your Jotunheim. That's my Jotunheim now. Thirteen to one. <laughs> yeah, I said I wouldn't have moved the soldier of hell if I had remembered that I must play a card from my game. That seems fair. Well done. Oh, it gave me three different. To have the uh, upgrade that gives you plus one everything in the rooms. I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the leader. I'm gonna get this. Both part of this? Yep. Oh. Goodbye, uh, boat. <laughs> oh, but my boat gets any tool. Infinite respawning warrior. That is the idea. I've got a lot of axes, but I keep not fighting people. Oh, I thought that color reflected the resource that had been there. Yeah. Because we don't have a great player. However, Utgard has... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Nothing else to play except <laughs> one warrior. You can do it, warrior! Very dangerous to go alone anywhere. I guess no one can trigger any villagers anywhere outside the person. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. So Jormungandr is already swimming all around this island. But then Ashuri has a sea serpent that looks kind of like it could be Jormungandr's face. I think it's just a baby one. Baby Yordi. Baby Yordi, Yordi, Yordi. Baby Yordi, Yordi, Yordi. 
have been the only one that became even close to maxing out all of his tracks, but his glory is not in as much of a leadership position as that would suggest. You dump those points to the end. What was that? Racking those points to the end. Do what with the points to the end? The points from the track, I don't get until the end of the Yeah. Well, I mean, the current. As you, like, if you're just looking at the tracks, you would think the game is going one good way. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you're looking at the current glory, you would think the game goes good for the other person. Alright, I assume we're all just piling into each other. Well. Yay, it's a tree. <laughs> we all love trees, right? And that's why we're all hanging out with this nice tree, like good friends. So why do we have all these axes with us? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not for the tree. <laughs> Trying to make a village around the tree. Oh wait, I, I think it says village. <laughs> That's sea serpent, the only unit outside. Oh, there we go. You just imagine a sea serpent just catapult. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what Yarmul Gander wants to do, right? It's like choking the tree. But I don't think that's like directly related to Ragnarok, but... No. I like the image at the very least. Yes! No! <laughs> Jeff, you ass! <laughs> you complete... <laughs> you complete monster! Can't you see we... Can't you see we just want to bask in blood? Even your own blood, maybe? Especially my so own blood. But Jeff, we don't want you to win. But you know what's going on? How I'm having an advantage right now? None of my card text got cancelled by Thor's pharmacy. <laughs> yeah, well, suck it. I could put down a warrior. There's still rage left on the board, but all the possible provinces have been filled in now. Except the center. This is the center that we just fill it. No, it, it was not. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. successful. Oh. I believe in you, one single bear warrior. <laughs> Still have rage. I've been very. I have 12 rage. And I have infinite warrior spawn. Okay, I can do this. I I can do this. Bears, 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 bears.
I don't know why you thought you would win. <laughs> if you win, that's not guaranteed. <laughs> I want the record to state that I played this entire game and did not win one single battle. We still have a warrior on the board. We got second place by the amount of people on the board. There we go, thank you. I mean, don't thank me, thank the facts. Thank you, facts. The score in what? Brazil is 12 oh, really? one. No, I still had rage! Oh. No! God damn it! Oh, yeah, god damn it there too, because I lost that quest. Eleven! Looks like I won! <laughs> I can't bring anything to the next threshold. Why would the rules change on me after I didn't read them? Okay, well, I got one of my quests. Oh, you do have a spare unit there. I actually. That's the Jotunheim that you stole from me. Yep. And that's why you kept one in this there, that was funny. Yeah, uh, my other two quests that I have in my hand are to take over a blue province, which I also did. And that's why I'm really salty, because that's 18 points. And that would have been enough to pass Joseph. I think Zach's actually win by conference. So they're just counting the tracks that we've completed? Yeah. yeah. Zach's win by, I think, three points. God damn it, Zach. Oh wait, no! I defeat. I got... If I did not fuck up my quest, I would have won. <laughs> if I would have placed a warrior in the area before Pillage, I would have fucking won. Because no one else would have been up there. And I would have beaten God. Joseph! I didn't see that, I did. I hope everybody had fun at least. Yes, we did. Oh. Me and you together get, got less points than either of the other two. I'm going to go with you. Boza? I'm going to go with you. Yeah. Yes, I think I don't want to play again just now, but thank you so much for playing with me. I had a really good time and we should play this again sometime. And thank you as well to everybody who joined me on the stream. I think that's going to be it for tonight, but I hope you enjoyed watching this round of Blood Rage. Uh, thank you so much for joining. I know I had a good time with all of you as well. Thank you, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Friday. Good night. <laughs>